Hi, my name is Ricardo Luna. I am an event designer. I've been doing business for the last uh, 20 years, doing event production. Uh, we do flowers, we do lighting, linens, furniture, dance floors. Uh, we do from A to Z. Uh, we like to do this because we are producers, directors, which means that we take care of things from beginning to end. We simplify the process for event production and it just makes uh, everybody's life easier. Definitely clients should, uh, they, they, they need to make sure that uh, they are hiring a professional, someone with their reputation, someone that is going to come through and uh, in this uh, profession you're only as good as your last job. So being professional and being true to yourself and uh, again delivering what you promise, that's what makes the difference. It all depends, it's very personal. Some people like to plan, you know, so far in advance. Uh, you know, some other people like to, you know, three, four, five months before the actual event. It all has to do with good planning. And uh, usually we come into the picture once the client have, uh, you know, have get engaged, of course, and have chosen the venue. And then uh, all of the vendors come into place. The key to success to make a couple happy, again meaning the end result of the whole event, uh, it has to do with uh, listening to their uh, feelings, reading their ideas, their emotions and uh, just being there for them, you know, from beginning to end and again delivering all of the little uh, details which is what makes uh, a wedding special, you know, it's all about the little details. So being there uh, at all times from beginning to end, that's what makes the difference. Weddings uh, are a very delicate process, uh, again, because you are dealing with people's emotions and uh, it's not just the bride and groom, it's also the family that gets involved. So, uh, again, it's personal, it's, uh, you know, it, it depends on uh, people's vision or objectives, but we are used to dealing with uh, all of them. So, you know, we just adjust ourselves to, you know, the circumstances. Some ideas that I can give people to create uh, amazing, romantic, great ambiences. Well, you need to get a little creative and it's easy, you know, you don't have to buy lots of flowers and spend a lot of money on expensive flowers. It's all to do with, uh, you know, a lot of candles, glass containers, submerged flowers, uh, minimalistic stuff, you know, like uh, clean lights. That's always a really good uh, uh, thing to do when uh, you want to create a romantic, uh, you know, cozy ambience. Candles, 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 crystals, glass, submerged flowers. Floral trends for this year, um, my answer to that is there is no trend, you know, like uh, brides are very personal, you know, like brides have a dream of their wedding, their, you know, since their childhood, so some of them want to do classic, uh, you know, some of them want to do romantic, I want to always romantic, but some of them want to do modern. Uh, in regards to color, you know, some brides want to do all white, uh, some brides want to do like all red, you know, like some brides want to do jewel tones, uh, fuchsias, purples. So uh, there is no trend. I mean, when it comes to color, uh, there is no rules. You can do anything you want. 
Uh, you know, like one thing that I see a lot happening right now is again clean lines, a lot of glass containers on different heights, submerged flowers, crystals, uh, floating candles. Uh, I think that's a good trend. Not all flowers can submerge, uh, but there is a, a good group of flowers that uh, make great statements uh, underwater. So it would be, for example, orchids, Sumbiriam orchids, Dendrobium orchids, Calalea orchids, uh, Hydrangeas, Calla lilies, uh, Casablanca lilies. Uh, those are great submergible flowers. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing with uh, floating flowers. So this is one of our centerpieces. We uh, put samples together for our clients and this is what I call the crystal tree. As you can tell it's a magnificent piece. I came up with this creation. Uh, people love it. Uh, it makes great, uh, you know, it's a stopper. You know, clients go like wow with, with this type of florals. And then if you come this way, I'll show you. Sumbiria orchids. These are great submergible flowers. Uh, you know, beautiful roses. Uh, pair of tulips. We have magnificent pair of tulips. We have orchids and uh, freesia. You know, one of my favorite flowers. Also, lots of freesia. It has great aroma. You know, like let's go in the back so I can show you. So. These are the lilies of the valley. So here you go. These are lilies of the valley, the most expensive flower that there is. Uh, they're very delicate. They have the most amazing aroma, and they're just great flowers.